Lots of you are using the multi-material unit. First note that if you've got the Mark III printer without the S and got the MMU2S kit, the kit is supposed to come with a Mark III S extruder upgrade, but it is missing the magnets that normally come with the Mark III S upgrade. So you'll need to find replacement magnets in this case. Secondly, some of you reported the levers being too small and failing to trigger the sensor. For this, I made the lever slightly more sensitive and added a new size called extra large in case the printed parts differ from the design. The new levers are available now. The difference between the levers is very small and it has to do with this section where it interfaces with the idler door. The larger ones are thicker here. You'll have to try out different levers until you get the sensor sensitive enough to easily trigger while still reading zero when there is no filament inserted. One thing to emphasize is that for the multimaterial unit you don't use the steel ball, even though I did leave it installed when explaining the levers in the assembly video. Let me show you how to properly install the parts for the multimaterial unit or how to switch to the multimaterial unit from the normal mode. To take the steel ball out, you'll have to loosen the sensor screw. For this, take out the top screw holding the magnet, make sure you don't move the magnet, then insert the narrow key through the screw hole and the nut and loosen the sensor screw. If you can't take the ball out yet, unscrew and take out the sensor level, carefully not to damage the sensor, then take out the steel ball. Follow the steps in reverse to install back all the screws. Then replace the idler door with the multimaterial version, carrying over all the metal parts. Remove the dummy lever and install one of the multimaterial levers. If the sensor won't trigger or triggers intermittently, then try a larger lever or nudge the sensor to the right. If it's too sensitive, nudge the sensor to the left or use a smaller lever, or shave off a little bit from the lever here using a file. If the sensor still doesn't trigger when it should and you printed the extruder in a bright color, then try printing the sensor lever in black to reduce infrared reflections. If the filament is not smoothly passing through the top of the extruder, then what you can do is take out the connector and enlarge the filament path with a 4mm drill bit so that the multimaterial tube goes further down until it passes the cutout where the ball would be. Leave a couple millimeters at the bottom so the tube doesn't get pushed in between the gears. You might have to adjust the PTFE tube length in the settings. Note that in this case you won't be able to revert back to the normal mode without the multimaterial unit. Hopefully this video prepares you for using the extruder with the multimaterial unit. Trigger the like button if you find this video helpful and until next time be awesome in multiple ways.